Have you ever wondered what it would be like to turn on your computer and not see Windows? No familiar start button, no blue screen, nothing. Instead, you get a brand new interface, one that's already taking over millions of devices. This isn't some far off future. It's happening right now. It's a pretty wild thought, isn't it? For decades, Windows has been the undisputed king of the desktop. But what if that whole era was actually coming to an end? That's right, this isn't some hypothetical. In the world's second largest economy, this massive shift is already in motion. Windows is being actively replaced, and it's marking the first major crack in Microsoft's global empire. Before we get into exactly how this happened, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support Geo9. Okay, so what does this look like on the ground? Well, Huawei's Harmony OS is no longer just a mobile experiment. It is making a serious play for the entire computing world, from government offices all the way to your living room. The Chinese government gave Harmony OS its official stamp of approval for state use, and the transition has been fast. The motivation comes down to two very powerful concepts, data sovereignty and cybersecurity. It's all about making sure a nation's digital backbone is subject only to its own laws. The message couldn't be clearer. Foreign software will no longer run China's critical infrastructure. So what exactly is Harmony OS? It's really important to get this. This is not just another Windows knockoff. Not at all. It was built from the ground up for a totally different mission complete digital independence. And this is where it gets really interesting. You see, Windows was built for the PC. That was its world. Harmony OS was designed for a world where everything is connected. Your phone is the center and your laptop, your watch, your car, even your smart home gadgets. They all become part of one single seamless system. And here's the great irony in all of this. US sanctions were meant to cripple Huawei, but what they actually did was force the company to accelerate its path to self-reliance. They poured billions into building their own chips and their own developer tools. And with Harmony OS Next, they finally cut the last tie to American code, creating a truly sovereign OS. So why are millions of people actually making the switch? Well, the benefits are tangible. Users are saying it just runs smoother, it boots up faster, and its deep integration with AI and its cross-device tools makes the old PC-centric world of Windows feel, well, a little behind the times. And this is the key takeaway. While it looks and feels like just another operating system on the surface, underneath, Harmony OS is fundamentally a tool of national strategy. It's a digital fortress, really, designed to protect China's data from any and all foreign interference. But you can bet Microsoft isn't just sitting back and watching its empire start to crack. The company is launching a massive counterattack, and its weapon of choice is artificial intelligence. Their strategy is to leapfrog the competition. They want to turn Windows from just an operating system into an intelligent partner. By embedding AI like Copilot, which is powered by their partnership with OpenAI, Microsoft wants to make your PC an absolutely indispensable digital assistant. But here's the twist. China can't access OpenAI. So we're seeing two completely different paths emerge. Microsoft is all in on a global cloud-based AI. Huawei is building its own sovereign, secure, and totally separate AI ecosystem. They aren't even competing on the same field anymore. Because at the end of the day, the greatest OS in the world is totally useless if there are no apps for it. And this is where the real war is being fought. For the hearts and minds of the software developers who build the tools we all use every single day. And let's be clear, this is Microsoft's home turf. They own GitHub, which is basically the center of the coding universe. They have Visual Studio. They have decades of dominance in everything from Office to PC gaming. This is a massive fortified wall for any challenger to try and climb. But then you see this number. Huawei has been pouring money and incentives at developers, cash, tax breaks, you name it, and it is working. Over 800,000 native apps are already built for the Harmony OS ecosystem. That's a huge signal that this challenge is for real. So let's zoom out, because what we're witnessing isn't just a battle between two companies. This is the start of a fundamental split in the global digital world as we know it. That quote really nails it. The very idea of a single interconnected internet, one that has been dominated by Silicon Valley for decades, is now starting to fracture. What we're looking at now are two parallel digital ecosystems, each with its own leaders, its own rules, and frankly, its own goals. The Western model is driven by profit and global cloud integration. The Chinese model is driven by state control and national self-reliance. So here's the bottom line. 
For the first time in a generation, Microsoft isn't the one setting the rules of the game. It's being forced to react to them. The era where a handful of American tech giants defined the digital experience for the entire planet, that era is over. And that leaves all of us with a pretty profound question. Do we want a digital future that's open and globally shared, or one where innovation is siloed behind national firewalls? So what's your take on this? Share your point of view in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Geo9 so you don't miss what's coming next.